Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to design and stylize the Table of Contents Maker module that we have to make it look exactly like the new Table of Contents on the Elegant Themes blog. Let me show you just a quick sample of their blog posts. So I picked a random post. No, I didn't. It's a post about table of contents. Anyway, um, in their post or any blog post that you view, you're going to see this now. And it's fairly new. I'm recording this in the spring of 2023. But anyway, it's fairly new on their blog. I think they have it on all their blog posts. So table of contents. Then they have these numbers. And obviously, you know, I can click to jump down. You know, oh, there's our plugin. Yeah, anyway. Um, Ours is featured on this blog, so that's why I was picking this at random. Okay, but look at that. I like the style of it. It's very nice. It has this gray border around the numbers, nice blue, very easy to see links. I think they could um, improve it a little, but that's okay. We're going to copy it exactly. Now, I have on our demo site for our plugin, copied it exactly. All right, there you go. I mean, it's not the same text obviously but it's the same style everything is exact colors fonts font sizes everything okay so that's what we're going to do today now in the tutorial here i have every detailed instruction but you can also do a little quick uh thing um, we have an option to download it so if you click on this option here it will just download the module and you can import it to your Divi library and then go to your layout, you know, normally the theme builder and import from your library and there you go. All right, so let's get started at the very beginning. If you do not have the plugin yet, you'll need to have the plugin or this tutorial is not relevant. So you can download the Divi Table of Content Maker. That is the name of our plugin. Um, it's the only table of contents module for Divi, and uh, therefore it's the best one. <laughs> um, uh, it's exciting because we've added about every setting we could think of, and there you go. If you're a member of our Venture Club, just you already have access to it, or if you already purchased it, go ahead and download it. Add it to your layout. So preferably in the theme builder, like I said, you would just make a template, like if you're putting it on your blog post, make a template for all posts that's very easy to do and then add the module there like i said you can download it i'm not sure if i should go through every detail or not here but basically i have a screenshot and written instructions for every detail of how to design this and it's very simple i mean i could walk through just showing you what i did now in the builder it might be a little different because it's not going to give you an exact text and not going to give you all the text from the post so you can ignore that but anyway one trick that you could do if you're already downloading it if you want to see the changes we made you could go up here to this filter and say modified styles and that's going to give you a list of anything that i changed to achieve this design you can see it's it's not that much but there you can see the changes um, or if you want to walk through the tutorial i don't think it's worth you know, either of us, for me to walk through it, it's really self-explanatory. Like here, I changed the title, um, and I just changed it because if you don't have that there, it says table of contents with a small O, and I noticed they had a capital O, so you have the right table of contents. Like I said, I'm copying them exactly. You can change the heading. This has to be set to decibel numbers of parent level. That's down here in this here, decimal numbers of parent level. You do that to whichever ones you need there, one and two. See that? Decimal numbers. Uh, and then here's design settings for the header. We added padding to match theirs. We added the background color to match theirs and the border radius to match theirs. So that's all over in the design tab in the header here like that. Then there's the title font for the table of contents. So it's, they're using Leto. Bold, here's the color and they have 24.7 font size. So you can keep it on 24. Again, here's the instructions for that. The content area, same kind of thing as the header with the background color, the padding, and the border radius. And then there's the links. Now, 
By default, our links have like a little underline and it changes color when you're hovering over the links. Theirs does not. So if you want to change that, you could. The trick that you're going to have to do to make ours not hover is to literally open the hover settings. So go to content heading links. This little button here needs to be open because now we're saying we want our text to be this blue and also want hover to be blue because otherwise the default hover will be different. I hope that is clear. So that needs to be open as a key thing here so that it does not hover change on hover or you can change it to make it hover okay um, some margin top and bottom on the links and then the markers are also lato and bold and here there's the color for that and they are 12 pixel um, size okay content heading markers so that's the right here content heading markers lato bold 12 okay we have so many design settings hundreds and hundreds of them but one thing we don't have is a way to make that border on the numbers see that it's just something we didn't have I guess we can add it I'll check on that can't promise that but it's it's really simple to do with CSS so I decide rather than like you know I wanted to get this tutorial out so here it is we're just saying uh, we're targeting that the numbers okay that's what the code is doing the numbers 1 1.1 1 .1, etc saying here's the font weight we want it to be 800 to match theirs the border has to be two pixels solid and this gray color to match theirs and then the border radius has to be 50 percent so it's a circle and then we added just a couple things like padding two pixels just to make it look what we thought was close and then the width and height is actually two ems which makes it two the width and the height of the circle are twice as big as the number I could have said width and height 24 pixels because we did 12 for the font. So you could do that also. Then text align center to make sure they're centered. And that is it now for adding that CSS. We are just targeting the table of contents. If you wanted to target a specific one, you'd have to add a custom class. But this is going to add this, these numbers to, well, I'll just exit here to these numbers here okay so everything is done in the settings except for that gray border and that's it so even if you download the module like I said you could download it um, at the very top of where it starts the settings right here download style module if you download that it does not have the CSS in that so you will also have to add the snippet if you download it okay there you go I mean it looks pretty good I think it looks like theirs um, Oh, you could adjust, obviously. I didn't even think about like the width of this layout and that, but I was just trying to focus on the actual, like this gray area here. You know, it has this amount of spacing, this four pixel border radius and everything. Okay, hope you like that. Now, we also would love to give away like some free style demos of table of contents, but I'm telling you what, they're really hard to design as far as like, like for me to design a table of contents and be like, here, look at these awesome designs for a table of contents. Because you don't really think of, you know, a table of contents as like a design feature. <laughs> but at the same time, we have so many features that you can match your brand. I think it would be worth us, you know, making some just to have like some nice samples to give away. So we are working on that. And if you have found any that like out on the web somewhere that you think are really cool or not even just... They don't even have to be amazing, but just really nice for us to replicate. Let us know and we'll do that. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoy that and we'll see you all in our next video.